This is a really quick video about uh, just about how you might or might not want to treat your watercolour paper and I'm just going to show you why you can't rub out a pencil line on watercolour paper. Okay, so I've got a, some pencil lines drawn up here for a small landscape, which will do. I'm just going to rub this one out. I don't want that pencil line there. Okay, and then I'm going to put a wash of paint on this now. So the wash I've got is just a simple wash of cobalt blue. Let's start our wash at the top, loading the paintbrush up and just letting the paint fall down. Moving the brush from left to right. All the way down. To you there. Now, if you've been watching my videos at all, I'm just going to uh, put one of those techniques in now the dry brush, starting from the bottom. There we go. Right, I'll just dry that up now. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is just uh, quickly finish this little demonstration. I've just got a, um, a darker wash here, a purple colour, and we'll uh, put these mountains on here. I'll just show you here one of the things about watercolour which is quite interesting. Sometimes it's not what you're... Uh, putting onto the paper. In fact it's all the time not what you put onto the paper, it's what you leave behind. Right, I'll dry that up and we'll have a closer look at it. Okay. So let's just have a closer look at this um, tiny little sketch and just going back to the initial pencil mark I can see quite clearly a, a darker blue line there where I use the rubber now you might not think that's any big deal but I can see it very very clearly that's why you don't use a rubber because the rubber will just hurt the painting hurt the paper sorry it'll just scuff it and when you're trying to put a, a clear wash on, it'll leave a mark. So basically, never ever rub out.